Hey, and welcome back. It's me, Gone on Score, and today we're going to pick up where we last left off on Startup Company, continuing our new startup called Booble and the Boob Tube, where you can see all your blue footed boobies and all their goodies. All right, let's see what we got here. I been thinking since we last left off this manager might be the best person we hired since we're creating UI components back-end components and encryption like it's nobody's business and today we got to upgrade our boob tube so we can get some more hype and more revenue because the more users we get the more we're gonna make because our employees are quite expensive and we are bleeding money but luckily we can take out another loan of a hundred thousand so I think that should be able to stabilize us for a while and then if things go well we'll have so many things that will just fulfill every contract i would like to see this number grow to one billion one billion people enjoying booble and all the boobies because that's what's important and then maybe we can move into new videos with the uh, dick dicks and other cute animals just prancing around all right let's see what we got here to upgrade we're gonna need four front end modules and Looks like two input modules, which should be pretty easy to do since we got that stuff being created quite quickly. And we can probably get this guy making more of these. And he's our front end dude, so we'll get him making another input module. Let's start the day. I'm gonna try and do this playthrough as with as little pauses as possible, but it's quite difficult since we got this like cube farm. And it's kind of a shitty office now that more I look at it, because there's really nothing here is just literally desk of people sitting at it it's kind of depressing but i think half our people need to go on vacation too so uh we're gonna wait for some more people to get back such as this ui artist or designer i guess you would call him and um we'll start doing that and this person needs to get back so we can actually start bringing in money because like i said we are so down in money wise that it's kind of bad all right, we need to create this to create some more front end modules. We're gonna need four of those, and we gotta do the mobile side as well. So it's gonna be like a mad crunch, but luckily this manager has these guys cranking this stuff out. So once our salesperson gets back, uh, hopefully we don't have to get a loan. But you know what? I think Booble's gonna really take off. Look, we've already tripled our daily income just in one day. It's pretty amazing. All right, it's the end of the day, which means we get to stay late. <laughs> and micromanage everybody until we get more managers and then I guess we're gonna micromanage them. That's how it works, right? I don't know. But anyways, let's let's jump back to the next day and hopefully our sales lady makes it back because we just lost $2,000 overnight. That's pretty crazy. I we really don't make enough, but we are, the boob tube's taken off. I mean, who would have thought boobies on the internet would be so successful? Okay, that's a retirement question. <laughs> of course, boobies on the internet are amazing, but hopefully our boob tube will be the best boob tube that anybody's ever seen, and they just can't get enough of it. All right, so our UI component. Um, I didn't really expect to make so many, so we're gonna switch gears <laughs> to some uh, other things, and I think we're gonna send some people on vacation as well, because this guy is like, do it actually really well 117 percent i was not expecting that get some sales contracts and then you build me some more front-end components and then we're going to turn those front-end components into things and then those things we're going to make the boob tube even better we're going to have like a new login where it like shows like the favorite boobs of the day i did not mean to do that i actually wanted to do some micromanaging oh well anyways so i'm thinking like a new home page where we can just oh Uh, well, it's like, I don't have another, I haven't done this contract thing before, but I think if we shoot for the cheap slash average, we should maybe get the deal and we can like build this out like instantly today, which is pretty cool. So let's see that, that easy peasy. Let's do it. Oh, someone, ah, I'll bid at us. That's kind of disappointing. All right. We'll have to maybe even lowball them even more. That would be kind of. No fun if we have to do that every time. Let's send this person on vacation. Let's check out this contract. There's so many things to do. We can build this now, which would be pretty good. So let's just deliver it. There we go, 3,000 big ones, which we really need it because we're kind of hurting for a lot of our things. I think if we get another manager, we can manage, and another um, designer here, we can really pump out some quality stuff here. And then this guy's miserable. We need to send him on a vacation, which we might do that. 
Um, we got 28 hours. We'll accept that. We're going to be able to commit that soon. And I think we'll do one of these. And he's got a wireframe. Just kidding. This person's going to do that since we are not making those. And it looks like it is once again the end of the day and everybody's leaving except for our lead developer here. Which we need to give these guys names. So if there's any name suggestions, I would be all for that. And I would like to get them what they need. So we're going to send him on vacation as well. Because nothing's going to get done if he's not happy. And he's got a nice desk. I don't know what he's crying about. Because these guys got all this white desk. And it hides all their dust. He at least can clean it every night. I know that it's not dusty. Um, I think we're going to take out that new loan. And we're just going to max our finances to the top like our true startup companies and just bury ourselves in debt <laughs> until our boob tube continues to go up even though it's nighttime we are actually increasing our user growth and uh money per day which that needs to be at like a million dollars per day but i think what we're gonna do and it got really dark i don't think we ever stayed this late at the office it's kind of spoopy maybe too spoopy for me i'm out of here but no we're gonna actually bring in a new desk we're gonna shove them into this farm of desk and coders and stuff and we're just gonna make them produce the best homegrown boob tube materials that's ever seen that's yeah anyways so we're about to accept this we can cancel it but I think as soon as we get in the morning it'll be done so let's send out a recruitment for I think we're gonna want another manager first so let's do that and then we'll bring him in we'll get his desk set up next to the other manager you don't have any available workstations in your building oh no do we have to upgrade our building i'm not ready for an upgrade i was not expecting that but we do need more components so we might have to put off hiring another employee we got three developers, which we kind of need because they're maxing out our what we need. So, all right, we made 5,000 real quick on that one. Those developers are necessary. And everybody else is just going to have to be miserable, I guess, until we get a new office. But I guess we could afford it. But it'd be nice to make some more money and then be able to move forward. So we need an interface module in this. This is going to bring a whopping 5,000. That's crazy. Let's do it. Done. All right search for another contract at least we're bringing in some money i the boob tube's gonna have to wait we'll have some organic growth there and but you know who can't resist boobies and then our version two will be the dick dick version and then they can get that because we need to get this guy on vacation soon he's got like a super frowny face and this person's just kind of compliant so on that note how far off are we from upgrading and we'll have to come up with a cool name so if you have any cool ideas for a cool name that kind of borderline perverted and funny and stupid let me know i can just name it after you that'd be cool too and then uh so we're gonna need two of these and eight of those to upgrade and eventually we'll get the marketing where we could have some text format and image things which i have no idea how that works but once we do we'll get there otherwise our uh whole application is going to fall apart and that's all right that's the nature of a startup company and i got too many emails and i'm gonna cancel this recruitment because obviously i can't hire this guy because i don't have enough workstations which is kind of funny because i would have bought the best workstations if i would have known that would have helped oh man what's this person's status searching for oh okay that's not bad all right let's get back oh no Oh, their super frowny face turned to them to leaving. Thanks, Isaiah Richards. I was not expecting that. Have a great future. <laughs> We're going to replace you with someone better. Have a good day. <laughs> so we wasted all that time recruiting a manager when we probably should have been recruiting another developer because he's miserable. And I guess we kind of learned that uh, the one thing with the super frowny face, he had a 99% like efficiency. I figured he would have been happy. We're going to have to keep doing that and keep clicking these things. All right, so who is this guy? He's on vacation. All right, we're going to keep building a backlog of these things because we keep getting these crazy contracts with front-end modules. Our lead developer is going to kill us that we kind of sold off all his things that he's worked on. And I'm going to have to just keep clicking around until we can get a bigger office 
which we might have to do. We're actually pulling in good contracts now. I don't know if we need a ton of contracts, but we're doing good. Doing real good, actually. And I think next episode we'll have to move into a new building and just take the risk because we've been able to fulfill everything that comes in. This is high urgency and 10,000 big ones. Nailed it. You guys have a great day. Tier six reached. I don't even know what that means. So let's see what our building, our rent would go up significantly. Upfront payment, oh, we could do 35,000. All right, I think we're gonna do it. All right, next episode. <laughs> Cause I think we have to rearrange everything. But on that note, I'm gonna end the episode here and we'll, next episode we'll pick up and move into an, a bigger building. So if you like this video, hit that like button. If you have any comments or you want your character named after you or something like that, please let me know. And I'll catch you in the next episode. See ya. Thank you.